Death comes really unexpectedly, but what I will say is, I don't think anybody was prepared for this. I, I don't. I don't think anyone in no parts of our mind could have seen anything like this happen or come. Even on today, um, the medical examiner's office is full. The hospitals are full, um, and it's it's just really tragic that there's nowhere for people to go but to the funeral home. And so you're trying to have people have services as quickly as possible. You're trying to work with the doctors to have people. Um, get their death certificate signed off so they can get cremated as quickly as possible because it's just like there's a pipeline and it's not stopping. It doesn't care about your economic status, where you're from. Once it gets a hold of you, especially in the early part where they really didn't know how to treat it, it was just taking people out and sometimes couples and families. Um, there was a situation last spring where an insurance company called because they just did not know who to pay out the benefits to because everybody in the family had died. What's it like for you at the end of the day when you finally get to step away? Oh my gosh, uh, the end of the day. The end of the day can be tricky for me because what time does that end? A lot of 4 a.m.s. Yeah, a lot of being up all night, a lot of 18 and 20 hour days. Um, a lot of days where I don't get very much sleep at all. When I get home, if I can get home, because sometimes I have to stay here overnight, um, we just have a little room. I just go in there and collapse and get up, refresh myself and get ready to go again. When I get home, I sit in the car for even like 10 minutes. This is a little ritual. Decompress, maybe check Facebook, something like that. See, look for something happy. Uh, check out a, a, an animal that's been rescued or something like that. So then that way, um, it's something happy to refill me, you know, um, as opposed to just sometimes there's, there's, there's nothing happy about some of the situations I'm encountering. We have to find those individual things that are going to cause us to still be okay at the end of the day. Every day has to be a new day. Today might just be Tuesday or Wednesday for you, but this is that person's worst day of their life. So we have to do it right the first time. There's no do-overs next week for this family. They're only gonna do this once with this person. So it has to be right the first time.